grateful for the time you spent with me. You really can't blame first time candidate Walt Havenstein if he had a few questions about the process. But the first one he wants to answer officially is whether a tax break he took in Maryland compromises his eligibility. To uh, get clarification as quickly as I possibly can, is to put this to rest. As most of you know, uh, I've lived here in the state as a resident for the last 15 years. On a day usually reserved for the pageantry of politics, petitioning the ballot law commission is an outside the box move by the Havenstein campaign, and one Democrats were happy to pounce on. The ballot law commission will take a very long and hard look at that because uh, the facts are, I don't think he's qualified to be a candidate for governor of New Hampshire. Despite his lack of name ID though, many expect Havenstein's candidacy to be formidable. As such, opponents have been relentless, attacking his background in business and leadership. You don't have any clue who these candidates are, and that's why these negative attacks on character can be so effective. We got married three days after I graduated from the Naval Academy. So to introduce himself to voters, Havenstein's camp will begin airing a more personal ad this week. And on that criticism, he says that sometimes in business, problems are inherited. Real leaders deal with real messes. They don't push them off until the next budget cycle. All right? They deal with them right up front, and that's what I did. And with the filing period about to close, the campaign season is about to bust wide open. Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.